All right, welcome back everyone. Today we are going over the Rap God portal effect and I'm gonna show you how we shot that right now. So basically you just wanna imagine where the portals will be but if you need help with that, then just go ahead and put some pieces of tape on the ground. So I just use my imagination. So basically I just jumped through that imaginary portal over there and then I try and replicate that exact same jump but coming from a different direction. And so you wanna Make sure that your body's looking about the same. So lead with the same leg, do everything exactly the same. All right, now let's open up After Effects. I'll show you how I edited it. Also, before we hop into After Effects, don't forget to take a clean plate of your setting before moving on. I was outside of the frame when I started the camera, so that was already my clean plate. And lastly, this is a little different than the majority of the tutorials that I've put out because they're normally super in depth and anyone from a beginner to advanced can do this. This one's going to be a little more advanced so I won't be going as in-depth on certain things, but I'll definitely be showing you how this is all done. All right, open up your footage in After Effects, and if you filmed it like me and the clean plate is part of your only shot, then you're going to want to duplicate your footage and isolate one frame where your subject's not in there and use that as a clean plate by creating a freeze frame, and you're going to just right-click on that one frame, time, freeze frame, and now you can drag it out for the duration of the clip. And then just drag that freeze frame layer to the very bottom. Now on your original clip, go ahead and cut up the two parts that you're going to be doing the portal jump with. All right, so now we need to create the ring of the portal. So without any layer selected, go up to the ellipse tool. And so we're basically just going to create a circle shape. So if nothing is clicked, you can then click on the frame and drag a circle and just make sure that you have no fill and then keep a thin stroke. I gave mine a yellowy orange color, but you can do whatever color you want. So now we're going to go over to the effects and search for turbulent displace and then drag that onto your shape layer. Change the amount to 10 and then the size to 25. Now keyframe the evolution so that the ring slightly shifts. I went from zero to 30X over the duration of about eight seconds. And if you're wondering what those two layers are off to the corner, that's because I was going to originally do two different portal shots, but I decided not to. So just disregard those. That's only specific to mine. Sorry for the confusion. All right, now go back to the effects and search for turbulent noise and then add that to your shape layer as well. Switch the blending mode to overlay and then I boosted the contrast to 158. Now once again, we're going to keyframe the evolution from zero to 30X over the same duration, but that's basically so that you see this distortion of darker and lighter colors inside of the ring. Now just add a glow and that's pretty straightforward. You can use any glow you want, but I just used Red Giant's optical glow. Now let's create a new black solid so go layer new black solid and then go back to your effects and drag turbulent noise onto your new black solid now once again I keyframe from 0 to 30x over the same duration so that the noise is moving around on that layer and then you can feel free to play around with the contrast or anything like that for the specific look that you want. This turbulent noise is going to serve as the portal distortion as your subject enters in and out of the portal. Right click on that black solid and pre-compose it and move all attributes. And now you're going to draw a circle mask so it fits inside of your portal ring. You'll wanna feather that mask and then you'll probably have to adjust the size of the mask because of the feather. Now change that pre-comps blending mode to screen. Go back over to the effects and search for one called ripple. Now we're going to keyframe that first value on ripple a few frames before your subject enters the portal and then you're going to go from zero to 100 as they're in the portal, and then again from 100 to zero as they're leaving the portal. So the total time that ripple is keyframing on mine is about eight frames. And now you're gonna wanna do something similar with the opacity of that pre-comp to go from zero to 100 a few frames before your subject enters the portal, and again from 100 to zero after your subject is gone. Double click on your pre-comp, and now we're going to add the effect tint to that black solid. Now we're going to tint that white color to something similar to the color of the ring that you chose. So I did yellow. Now you can just duplicate both your ring for the portal and then that portal distortion and then make both those layers 3D and then change the Y rotation so that ring shifts off over to the side and now that can be your second portal. 
Just be aware that if you're simply duplicating those portals, that it's going to have the identical keyframes on there. So you might want to adjust those keyframes to appropriately match that other portal so that it's not flashing at the same time. So when your subject comes through that portal, it then flashes when it should. I then duplicated the portal again to match the look of the music video. So now we have three portals. And now for the tedious part, it's time to rotoscope your subject. Now I know this is a more advanced tutorial and I'm not gonna go through the ins and outs of rotoscoping, but if you've never done it before and want to follow one of my tutorials where I do go in depth on it, you can check that out here. And once you know how to rotoscope, then you can come back and finish this video. Now after you've rotoscoped your subject, make sure that that rotoscope layer is on top of your portal so that you're showing above the portal. But if you want that portal distortion to appear on top of your your rotoscope layer, then you need to make sure that distortion layer is on top of that rotoscope layer. On that second rotoscope layer of the subject coming out of the portal, I had to reposition that layer so it looks like I'm kind of shooting out of the portal because my living room wasn't big enough for me to get back there and do a decent jump. And then on that same layer, I create a mask on that portal so that the subject doesn't appear behind the portal because we want it to be popping out of it. And then I just keyframe the mask path so that it follows as the subject's coming out. And just make sure that you set that mask mode to either subtract or add with the inverted box clicked. Now on the original rotoscope layer, I just keyframe the opacity to go from 100 to zero as the subject is entering into the portal. And boom, that's it. That's how you make something similar to Eminem's Rap God portal jumping effect. I hope you guys liked this video and learned something. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. And also, if you like this kind of more advanced tutorial where I don't explain things as thoroughly and you know, kind of do something that has way more steps to it, uh, let me know down below. Or if you wanna see more beginner stuff, let me know that too. And if you haven't already, I'd love for you to subscribe to this channel. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.